Hey guys, even here, and we are starting this video with a Phil Heat update. Unfortunately, Phil Heat is not competing in 2019. So, for the past couple of months, we were speculating whether he's gonna compete or not. After he lost his Sando back in 2018, or should I say last year, he said in an interview that he's not gonna compete this year. He said that he is keeping 2019. But we were kind of hoping that he actually might turn up that he actually might show up on that stage, that he may even win the Mr. Olympia back, especially after Sean Roden uh, was banned. And when we saw how Phil Heath actually is looking at this time of the year, considering the fact that he is not prepping, he looked very good in the past couple of months. And he made a couple of teasers, and you can watch my videos that I made before, he made us think that he may compete. But now we have his official answer, and it's not gonna happen. He is not gonna compete this year. He is not retired, we may see him next year, but this year, unfortunately, no. So he had an interview with Muscular Development Magazine, actually their YouTube channel, and the video will be uploaded only in October, actually, but uh, right now we do have his answer. Uh, it was quoted, basically. So he says, this is Phil Heath's words, and I quote, I am thankful to finally announce that I am not competing at this year's 2019 Mr. Olympia contest. As many people have known me throughout my career to compete at the sport's biggest event, I will be sitting out this one, as I continue to work on other projects inside and outside of bodybuilding. I haven't stopped training, as bodybuilding is something I extremely enjoy doing, but at this point in time, I have chosen to bypass this year's event. So, there you go, it's certain at this point, Phil Heath will not be at the Mr. Olympia. Now, what we get out of it, pretty much, we're gonna have a new Mr. Olympia. That's a good thing. That's definitely a positive side of this thing. It's not gonna be last year's Mr. Olympia, it's not gonna be an old Mr. Olympia, maybe if Dexter Jackson wins, but that's likely not gonna happen. We're probably gonna have a brand new Mr. Olympia. And guys, I mean, Phil Heath is a great talent. He is one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. But didn't you get kind of tired of him winning year after year for as long as you can remember? If you're like me, I'm 23 right now, I have actually started following this sport at around 2010-2011 when Phil Heath became the Mr. Olympia. So for every year since then, Phil Heath has been winning. And I kind of got tired of him. I liked him, sure, he was a great bodybuilder, but I wanted to see some new blood, some fresh blood, and that's gonna happen this year. No Phil Heath, but we're gonna have a new Mr. Olympia, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. By the way, if you guys want to make sure that this information is correct, I will play the part of the video of Muscular Development of Ron Harris, who is the online editor of Muscular Development, so you can hear it from his mouth. And you guys know that Phil Heath is very good friends with MD, so let me play this little video for you. Quoting Phil, I am thankful to finally announce that I am not competing at this year's 2019 Mr. Olympia contest. As many people have known me throughout my career to compete at our sport's biggest event, I am sitting this one out as I continue to work on other projects inside and outside of bodybuilding. I haven't stopped training as bodybuilding is something I extremely enjoy doing, but at this point in time, I have chosen to bypass this year's event. So Phil Heath will not be returning to the Olympia contest next weekend. He will not be competing. All right, so let's go with the next thing that I wanted to talk about, and that's Josh Lenartowitz. You guys might know that he had some health issues. At first, he didn't want to tell us what exactly it was. He said that it was a genetic disease, that it isn't life-threatening, and you guys now can get the full information on what exactly happened. And you can check this video right here. You can go to this YouTube channel if you want to learn more information. It's a rather long video, so I don't want to play the whole thing for you, of course. But I do have a little clip cut out, and uh, basically he's telling you what exactly it was. So let me play this little video for you. Josh had a kind of lump. Yeah, it was tiny, and I had to start getting these headaches, and I never have headaches. Um, and that was a concern for me. So um, I went and saw a GP, and they kind of just said, take some aspirin and see a dermatologist. And I went home and couldn't sleep, really, and I said, no, nah, something's definitely up. I went back and asked for a referral, and then I come back with a scan and said I had a tumor in my skull. And it was um, very rare, it's the rarest tumor you can get. So basically that's pretty much all you really need to know. He had a brain, not really a brain tumor, but a head tumor, because it was on the outside of his skull. So it wasn't on his brain, really. It's complicated, but basically it's the rarest type of tumor that you can get, apparently, 
That's what he says. And he has been in coma, in a medically induced coma for about 10 days. He had a surgery and everything should be fine. But it was definitely enough to make him withdraw from this Mr. Olympia competition. So he's not going to compete this year. Obviously, I mean, why would he? And um, he's going to be healthy. Apparently, it's not really something dangerous. It's really rare. And it caused an operation that required him to be in a medically induced coma. So it's not really not serious, but it's not that bad. So he's going to be fine, hopefully. If you want to learn more details, you should definitely check the video because he explains everything pretty much in it. Anyways, now we know what happened and we know that he's going to be fine. And hopefully we're going to see him next year at Mr. Olympia. First of all, he will have to qualify, but that's not going to be a problem for him. This year he was really good. He got much bigger, much, much bigger. He just needs to come, you know, pretty much the same size and a little bit more conditioned and he can win almost any show. Almost any show and some of the biggest shows as well. And I'm sure we're going to see him next year. And next year, 2020, is going to be an epic Mr. Olympia. It's going to be a really good bodybuilding year. So enough about Josh and Arthur. Let's go now to Big Remy. That's the third news that I have for you. And basically here you can see this a little bit older photo. It's been a week since uh, Bader Budai uploaded this. So it's a Brandon Curry's new photo with a caption. The caption says, no invitation needed. And basically, he's probably referring to Big Remy. Big Remy was a part of Kuwait gym. He is not anymore. And uh, he is not qualified. Unlike Brandon Curry, who is. So Big Remy posted that uh, post of his in which he was saying that he's still dieting like he's prepping for the Mr. Olympia. And everybody pretty much assumed that he wants to be invited. That he wants to be at the Mr. Olympia. And that's what I thought as well. But apparently it really isn't the case, as it seems. So on this photo, we have George Farah commenting. Let me show you this comment. So he says, for your information, they did offer Remy an invitation he didn't accept. That's how much you know about Remy. Anyways, George Farah, one of the top gurus in bodybuilding world. I don't know if he is the coach of Big Remy. He did coach him before. I'm pretty sure it was back in 2016, I'm not really sure, but it seems like they are working together again. And George Farah said this, and George Farah is a top bodybuilding coach, top guru. So he has a lot of integrity, it's not just somebody else, it's George Farah, and he says that Big Remy actually got an invitation. I don't know where he got this from, but that's what George says. Should we believe him or not? I do, I do believe him. And it seems like Big Remy doesn't even want to compete this year. And it actually does make sense. I mean, Big Remy is somebody who is really working hard on this. He really wants to win the Mr. Olympia. And not knowing that you're going to compete and just, you know, starting your prep, I don't know, a couple of weeks prior to Mr. Olympia, not really the best idea. Not really the best idea. He doesn't need any more second or fifth places. He needs to win the show. And he can do it. Maybe next year. Maybe if he comes ready and shredded next year, maybe he can do it. But apparently he didn't get an invitation and he declined it. He did not accept it. So that's about Big Remy. As far as we know from George Farah right here, he did get an invitation, but he did not accept it. And that's about it from this big news that happened in bodybuilding world recently. But I also have a couple of physique updates. And I have this video of Brandon Curry training his back. Based on all he said so far in his YouTube videos and Instagram videos and interviews and so on, I can tell you that he's not dieting anymore. He's not doing cardio. He's just easing it in into the competition, into the Mr. Olympia. Basically, he's going to do a little protocol probably a few days before the Mr. Olympia and get uh, dry, dehydrated and win the Mr. Olympia. Take that sandal back home. And I'm sure he's going to do that. Uh, I'm sure he's going to win the Mr. Olympia. It's going to be between him and Rolly most likely. And there is a surprise factor that somebody else completely can take it. But if I was a betting man, I would bet on this man right here. We also have a physique update of uh, Alex Cambronero. Second place finisher this year. A runner-up to Keon Pearson at this year's New York Pro. He was not happy with that placing. And apparently he worked. He worked on his body to never let that happen again to him. Basically, the reason why he lost was probably his legs that weren't as big as uh, Keon's. And they're still not his uh, strongest body part. But look at his upper body. 
Guys, I'm telling you, this guy is gonna surprise us all. He has a neck problem, so he's always tilting his head to one side. I'm pretty sure the reason for this was a motorcycle accident or a car accident or something like that, but uh, there is a problem with his spine or just his neck and he's always tilting his head like this. It is hurting him a little, but look at the muscularity. Look at the fullness, the, the, the conditioning, everything. I mean, I'm sure this guy is gonna make a jump, a leap. Uh, he's gonna surprise us. Let me tell you that much. He's gonna look great, I'm sure. And let's finish this video off with a video of Harry Chopin doing squats with his coach, Honey Rambot. So Honey Rambot, I mean, this guy is a coach, one of the best coaches in the world, and every year he has very good athletes. Now, without Phil Heath and Jeremy Buendia, he has Harry Chopin, one of the biggest prospects. And maybe he's gonna compete in 212 and win the show, maybe he's gonna compete in open and take like top three, top four. But one thing is for sure, he's gonna give us a great, great show. He's gonna present an impressive physique and I have no doubts about that. Here he is squatting a lot of weight and it's a full bar and I don't know how much do these plates weigh. I have no idea, but I'm sure it's a lot considering his quad development and his overall uh, leg and back development, he must be very strong. And I personally am very much looking forward to seeing him on the Mr. Olympia compared to these other top guys. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And if you want to see more, you know what to do. Subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.